Yeah, obviously got in a little in trouble in that second inning. Um, you know, a couple a couple plays we almost made uh, behind him didn't, and then the mistake to Freeman, um, where he where he just hung up, looked like he hung a slider right there. Uh, that obviously hurt him, and then and then he struggled a little bit with. I think just being as hot as it was, getting a real good grip, so he lost his zone there for a little bit. But I thought he settled in and and, and came back in the third and pitched pretty well. Um, but, you know, he was up obviously well over 60 pitches, and we weren't going to go much more than that. So, um, you know, a step back for him. I thought he I thought he did a good job in that third inning of kind of locking it in and, and executing his pitches. Clevenger, lively fastball, wipeout slider, kind of effectively wild what did he do to slow you guys down yeah i mean i mean he's really good he's he's one of the really good pitchers in the league obviously um but that you know he he really changes pace you know he can flip a curveball in there at any point to to give you that change of pace obviously a good slider and and, and an electric fastball you know usually is a guy that really does command it um you know, we were able to get him out of there. We had some opportunities to kind of really maybe get to him. Couldn't quite break through. You know, Talkman hits that ball well that Puig makes a nice play on. Um, so we, we were able to make him work hard and, and get his pitch count up, but just weren't able to really break through against him. So, you know, for him, a guy that does usually really command it, maybe a little bit, you know, effectively around the zone. I'm sure you don't want to make this a daily routine, but it looked as if a couple of calls on Judge, a pitch to Glaber, a pitch to Ford, that you mm -hmm. guys went back and forth a little bit with Cuzzy. What was going on there? No, yeah, nothing. Just, you know, that's just stuff within the game that, you know, you get some, you don't, um, and we move on. And this was billed as a playoff preview. You end up splitting with the Indians. What's your takeaway about your team and their team from this series? Um... You know they're 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 obviously a really good team and and you know have a chance to you know get a pitcher or two back maybe that really helps them um, you know a, a versatile lineup that has some speed in it obviously a lot of switch hitters that creates a matchup um, problems so they're really good and and we know you know that's a team that's very capable and and you know after a slower start to the season have really righted the ship and playing really well uh, in the second half here. You know, nothing changes with us. I think we're really good. We still, in in a way, have a long way to go, but we've we're in position to to do something special. Dave to the left. Aaron, the, the first time that CC went on the the IL for kind of a knee maintenance, it wasn't as long, and he came back and pitched really well against the Red Sox the next time out. Right. This time was much longer for kind of a similar mm -hmm. thing. Was it a matter of just kind of, like you said, trying to find a little bit again because of the time span was a little bit longer, do you think? Um, what do you attribute to, to that a little bit? I don't know. Like, I mean, I thought, you know, around that middle where he, you know, lost the zone because I think he was, he was slipping a little bit and made some mistakes. Um, you know, I thought there was enough good at the front end and the back end of it. it. More today was just not being as built up. So, you know, it was more of a, a day where, you know, we got three innings out of him. We weren't going to go much more than 60, 70 pitches with him. So it's a step for him along the way that hopefully getting him back into the groove. Larry. You've got um, 19 out of the next 25 on the road, and you, you've played a lot of home games. Is, is this a particular challenge for you? Is this something you look forward to seeing, you know, how you respond to this? And I, and I guess also, is it important for you, do you think, to have home field as, for as long as you can in the playoffs? Um, look, every the, the, the major league season is filled with different challenges. You know, we just, today we end 19 games in 17 days. That's a gr with, you know, until today, four healthy starting pitchers. That's a challenge. Um, you know, travel at times, going to London, coming, that can be a challenge. Yeah, going on the road. These are different challenges that are inevitable in, in the major league season that, you know, you kind of look forward to. Um, and so we get to go out on the West Coast, play a couple of really good teams, obviously. Um, but look forward to going out there. Um, as far as home field, we'll continue to, we're trying to grind away at wins. You know, we're, we're great in this building. 
We're, we're really good at home. We, have, we feel like we have a tremendous home field advantage. Um, so, you know, we, we want to continue to rack up as many wins as we can with that hope. But, um, you know, we also know that we're capable of, of beating anyone uh, when we put our best foot forward, no matter where we play. Clap, did you have a question? Yes, Aaron, uh, just getting back to CeCe. Um, is it a work in progress in your mind, just building him back up? And, you know, realistically, what are your hopes for him by, you know, a month from now? Where do you think he'll be? Um, I mean, we'll see. Um, yeah, I mean, he. Well, I don't know what he ended up at, 65-plus pitches maybe today. Um, so, you know, hopefully next time out it's, you know, building up from there 75 80 85 and hopefully he can get into a good routine where his body's responding and bouncing back um every fifth or sixth day and and he can go on a good run with us um you know i saw enough today from his stuff that when he was um really locked in i felt like he was pretty crisp at times so yeah this is a, a step in building him back towards that you know full starter load randy to the left yeah, everybody knows that Sanchez has the, maybe one of the best throwing arms uh, in baseball. He had another error today. His stolen, uh, stolen base percentage is down below the league average, leading the league in errors. How much of the steals, in your mind, is on the pitchers, and what do you make of all the errors? Uh, a lot of them on steals to second base. Yeah, the errors came early, though, and today was a, a, a ball that he shouldn't have thrown. It was a first move on CC lefty where he didn't slide step, so he didn't have a... Th didn't have a play, so you just got to eat it. Um, Gary's a great thrower, um, and when when he gets, you know, a decent time, you know, from a pitcher, he's he's elite. Um, and you know, we have a we have a number of guys on our staff that aren't overly quick to home plate when they don't slide step, um, but I think where with most teams, I'd you'd see more more attempts against us he does a lot to quiet that but a lot of that you know when you when you go into a game from a running standpoint you're you're sh sure the catcher factors in but it's more about your depending on the base runner you're picking a matchup to where you can get a good time in in a certain count um so it's more that uh, you know it kind of falls on all of us eric to the right Aaron, the uh, the cameras caught Judge a couple of times mimicking what Gardner has done with his uh, with his bat. Does that just sort of speak to the the closeness of your clubhouse overall, or the respect with which the younger guys hold right. Gardy? I mean, those guys are really close, and uh, you know, <laughs> I mean, I. You, there's little things that happen throughout the course of the year all the time that are kind of inside things between guys and um you know so that today was probably a little more of that okay thank you yeah.